Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. It's really not the right kind of tape for this. Is it gonna work? Oh, it'll work. Just getting it off might be a pain. What tape did you use? Did Sorry. you use the? You use. Oh, I had. Oh. Um, be difficult to remove. So what Steve is currently doing is moving the cable lines and the cable modem and, and all that stuff to an outlet that's going to sit on top of the shelf in the closet. That's the original plan. We're sticking with the original plan. So well, the he's just getting that done. That it was supposed to cut out very nicely into two boxes. And by the gaping hole in the wall, you can see that that did not happen. And I'm finally excited. I've been saying it for weeks. Today is finally the day that the modem and cable, or the cable modem and the router uh, will finally go into their new home in this closet. Uh, up on this shelf here, there's two holes that need to be cut out, uh, and then the wiring will run up into one of those, and the cable will run into the other one. That will also let us start running our Cat6 wiring, so depending on how motivated I am today, I may actually get some of that done, so we'll see. All right, so slight change of plans. Uh, trying to cut these holes out, basically the plaster here is so thin that the boards behind it, the, the lath, basically just shook it to pieces. So um, at this point it's just a chunk out of the wall. I'm gonna have to cut that all the way over to the other stud and basically replace this entire section with, with new drywall. Um, that really sucks. I was really hoping not to have to do that, but unfortunately nothing is ever easy in an old townhouse. So. Yeah, this project just got a hell of a lot more complicated. Um, I'm gonna take a break for now because I'm pissed off, but hopefully I can come back to it later when I'm less irritated and, and just get done what needs to be done. So anyway, that's that. Yeah, that was a little messy. The plaster is so thin that it comes off fine, but then when you try to remove the lap, it just shakes into pieces. So. Either way. Now we are, he is fishing wire. All I am fish. standing here and filming him fish wire. And at some point we will, this actually might be the last little bit that you need to do in this closet, isn't it? Uh, well, aside from making this pretty, which I'll do at some point, and putting the access panel in. Right, but I mean like, you just have to clean it up. There's no more like wire pulling and stuff. Correct. Uh, except for the ethernet. Except for the ethernet. Yes, that, that is also true. We need to run ethernet throughout the rest of the house because this is where the, equipment will be living so we have to run ethernet cables down to the other two floors the second and the first so that we can hook everything up into one lovely circuit but we're only putting ethernet outlets in rooms that we more than likely will need it in like the girls room the studio the dining room maybe or the living room i can't remember which one it was in that i know that the living room for sure because we'll need it for the tv uh both actually oh okay well lovely uh the kitchen uh, we could do the kitchen if you want. Yeah, let's do the kitchen. You never know. Okay. This is going to be my job while Steve is away in Michigan. So I'm going to try and get all of these seams all done. I'm going to sand everything down today. And then I'm going to recoat so that I can get some of the holes that sort of filled in and didn't completely fill in. And then once that recoat is done, I sand it again and see if I need another recoat. Hopefully I don't. Hopefully that's it. And if that's it, then I'm going to paint the ceiling. I want to try and get at least the ceiling painted before he comes home. The other thing I need to do is order a trim to go around the room so that I don't have to worry about all of this corner finishing. I don't need to finish any of these corners because the trim is thick enough that it's going to cover it anyway. So I'm not even, I'm not even going to bother worrying about it. I'm just going to cover it and be done with it. I am going to paint it all so that it's all painted so that no matter where the trim ends up, it will be painted. But I'm not gonna fin. I'm not gonna fin. No, mm -mm. it's gonna be buried under trim. I'm not doing it. 
But yeah, it's gonna look really awesome when it's all done. And then once the ceiling is painted, Steve can actually come in here and do the lights if he wanted to, but we still need to do the floor, which is a whole other beast, which I probably will do. Hopefully if I can get enough done in here this week, we can do the floor next week. That's the plan. Cause then we can move in before we start driving around the country again. That would be nice. I'd like to get this room done before we leave in May. Is gone. Like, how do I function without the internet? It's like a, a cheap theater in South York that gets movies later than everybody else. Alright, one thing you may have noticed while I was installing this outlet in here, and of course I've covered it up with power adapters now, but you'll see it in the footage prior. Um, this is a special kind of outlet. It's not just a GFCI, it's also a surge protecting outlet, and that prevents us from having to put like a surge power strip up here, but it'll protect uh, these two pieces of gear. So basically it's a special kind of outlet. It'll start making a horrible screaming noise if and when that ever takes a hit. Uh, and that way you know it needs to be replaced. It but noise? You know, like, it's like a, like a screaming, like high pitch whining noise. What? So. Yeah. So you should see your cat. He's guarding my potato chips. <laughs> you can't have them. No chips for you. He looks cute, but it's all a ruse. He's basically like, I will attack you at any instant no I have chips. a chance. You want chips? No chips. Those are my peeps. Is, is, that, is that a diet plan? Just have a guard cat in front of all the snack <laughs> food? That's great. I really want my chips. Here, have some uh your solution is oh no, it still doesn't work. Your solution is to get the guard cat high and then works. Internet gear is all back up and running at this point. Uh, at some point, we will need to come in here and finish the drywall, uh, which will basically involve cutting. There's a stud right over in here, so that'll continue up all the way somewhere about where this uh, seam and the wallpaper is. So I'll have to extend this cut here uh, over to meet that stud and then I can put a piece of drywall in that spans both of them. That can be done later really, I mean it's not going to make much of a difference at this point. I mean everything for the power is in and, and done rel I mean, as safe as it can be for the time being. Obviously that cover plate really should have drywall behind it, but I mean we're not going to be in here touching this on a regular basis so it'll be fine for the time being. So, yeah, internet gear is up. There is still one line that dangles down. That is the ethernet that connects into the switch over here, which that will someday go away as well. <laughs> uh, we were just talking about putting a floor box in at some point underneath these desks, which would be somewhere down in here. We'll have to procure that and install it. Are you excited to have your router and modem off the floor? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> and they weren't even on your side of the desk. I was the one who usually kicked them. So that's because Adobe like doesn't introduce their teams to each other. So okay. like they're people yeah, who work on separate actually, programs who have never met. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Dad starts recording. Jet Six is head back in. I wonder how the wind is. I may have to fix that. Try to fix next week. House for sale. Do you buy another house? Um, we already got a house. So we are on our way. Crap, that zoomed in. Uh, <laughs> my giant face is on its way. <laughs> we are on our way to the airport. Um, I'm flying to Michigan for the week for yes. work. I get and, the whole uh, place to myself. Yes. That's gonna be amazing. Yes, I've heard rumors of chocolate and Netflix and things. We don't like even that. have a Netflix subscription. No, we don't. I'm gonna buy one. Jet's out the window again, by the way. Of course he is, and as soon as I try to film it, he'll stop being uh -huh. adorable. Yep, yep. <laughs> Immediately, he ducked his head right back in. There he is. This is the best day ever. He's been very anxious about getting out of the house. Like, he doesn't like putting on his harness anymore, and he doesn't like leaving. I don't but know why that is. once he's in the car, and he's, when we're on our way, he's totally fine. I don't know I what don't tragic know event happened to him that he suddenly doesn't want to leave. Yeah, so I'm going to have to take him out this week. Oh, you were talking about taking him to the dog park. I him to a dog park. If tomorrow is supposed to be just as beautiful as today. It's, so that is on my list of things to do. Trash man! 
That's beautiful out. The windows are open. It's gonna be loud. I'm telling you, every time. <laughs> Turn it around. See what's correct. I'm trying to film you. And you're being camera shy. You a good boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe I don't want to be on film, Dad. <laughs> you can get me. What about what I want? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Now I can see him. Now you're using the spy mirror. I'm using the spy mirror, which you don't have in the other car. Well, and it's funny because Evie actually asked me, does this car have a spy mirror? A spy mirror? <laughs> yeah, that's what the exact term she used was, does this car have a spy mirror? And I'm thinking to myself, how did you learn that term? I guess she heard you say it. Did I call it a spy mirror? I don't know. I've, never, I've never, never called it a spy, spy mirror, mirror, but either way. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yes, we have a spy mirror. Hello. Hi, Will. How's it going? Good. Oh, Jet's so hey. excited. This whole trip was so worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are. You were so worried about Will and the dog. <laughs> I, just, I didn't know if you were going to work. No. Oh, gosh. You're videoing. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Steve. It's all yours now. I gotta drive. Where am I going? Um, He's a corgi. Corgi. He just has the tricolor colors rather than the typical red and white. Yeah. Hello, corgi. You're a good boy. You wanna go home and play with your laser? Yes. That's all I ever want to do. He is obsessed with that laser pointer. Obsessed. Look at it, bud. Hey, oh, that's Best Three Mile Island? Yep, Best Three Mile Island. Uh, how come only two of them? Are there three stacks? There's four, and two of them are from the reactor that's no longer in use. Oh, so there's two that don't do anything? Yep. Okay, so that's why... So these two are from unit number two, I believe, but it's still online. And then as we come around the corner, you'll see the other two, which are from the other unit, which is not. There they go! There they go, Jet! They didn't even! Do you want your window? Whoop! Alright, now we're gonna go home. I don't know how to do that at all. So, oops, that's the break. Wish me luck. Does it look different? I don't know. I mean, to me it looks different. Look at what color I am. I am covered in dust. These glasses don't really do a great job, so I'm sure my eyes are all like looking in the camera. Oh my goodness. What color? It's everywhere. It's literally everywhere. I am a different color. So I have to wait for the dust to settle before I can do anything else. This battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna try and get this out quick. But the ceiling is done, and then the border around the ceiling is also done. And I have to get up there, fill a couple other holes, and a little bit of detail work. And then I think I don't have to do a third coat, which I was worried about. I didn't know if I needed it. So I got a couple little spots to fill, uh, but I think we're good. But I need to take a shower, and then I'm gonna go for a run, which is exciting, because I haven't done it in months. Yeah. You can see my sandal in my shoe. Nice bike. I'm still wearing shoes. Oh my goodness. I'm so many different colors. All right. I'll take this mask off and the glasses. The glasses are pretty bad, huh? All right, you ready? Gross. All right, I'm gonna go get in the shower. Is that okay? I am like, this is what I look like when I get out of there after I'm done sanding. A different, dusty, gross alley. Shower time. Okay, I'm a different person. I feel like a different person. I didn't even notice this because I was so focused on being dirty and gross, but look, well one, Steve left me a lovely note. Aww, look at this mess. Oh no, it's all over my desk and my chair. And this, this camera, this camera is covered, covered in gross. But uh, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna go for a run. I haven't put on deodorant, that would be a good idea because I'm about to stink like high heaven. Uh, is there anything else I need? My phone. My keys, a bottle of water. I still have a lot of little things to do before I leave. All right, look, because I feel really good. I did 2.22 miles in under 30 minutes, which feels great. That's awesome for me, because that's the first time I've run since November. Yeah, November. Whew, that's awesome. I feel really good. 
You are going to be covered in dust. This whole floor is covered in dust, like a thin layer of dust. And the best place to sell is over here because this is just wood. Oh, that's the other thing I need to do this week is test, test the stain I bought. Anyway, um, second coat has gone up. Get excited. Second coat, I have filled in all of the seams again, just to level them out, make sure that I get all the weird tiny little holes. There weren't a lot. Um, I think this one was the worst. And that's it, aside from that one. Um, but that means that the entire ceiling has since been recoded and now level. So, if I can sand it again tomorrow morning, I might be able, if, if it comes out good after that, I might be able to get a layer of paint on tomorrow, which would be amazing. Um, that would be awesome, because I wanted to get the ceiling done before Steve got back, and if I can get the ceiling done, then I can move on to the walls. And then once the walls are done, we can move to the floor, which desperately, desperately needs to be done. The other thing I needed to tell you is I ordered trim for this room and like six other rooms. <laughs> it's <clears throat> a case of 60 pieces and they're six and a half feet a piece. So I'm pretty sure that'll do most of the house. Anyway, um, they called me to let me know that it's going to be late because it's on back order until like May 16th, which is fine because we still have quite a bit to do and trim is like the last thing you do. So. Oh, it's still a little echoey in here, which you can hear. Echo! Which is fine. Um, so anyway, ceiling, that needs to get done. Walls, that'll be next. And then floor, floor is gonna be a nightmare. I think I figured out what I wanna do to fill the floor, cause there is like a whole bunch of cracks and stuff that's gonna need to be filled in order to make it a nice level surface. Um, but I have some testing to do before I'm 100% sold on that. But I do have a lot of holes to fill. So anyway, I'm all done. I have done everything I can tonight because um, I have to wait for everything to dry before I can do anything tomorrow. I have like the shiniest forehead on the planet right now. That's ridiculous. I did do my running, I told you that. That was awesome. Um, Spike is already moving in, aren't you? <laughs> it's gonna look really good when it's done though. I love that color. It looks really good. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna go put this together and then I'm getting out of here because I gotta go to bed because I'm tired. Uh, and I have a long day tomorrow. We have a lot to do.